Now, also kind of dealing with typical rhythm section type elements, one of the things that we run into is, you know, with Cubase 7, we added a very capable drum machine. It was really well suited for doing a tremendous amount of like, you know, uh, like R&B and EDM type tracks. But one of the things that we want to do now is to, as we come here, we have an acoustic agent as well. So we have all sorts of different acoustic sounds here. So you have kind of a full drum kit. Now, now what's interesting about this is we can kind of start off and we have different pads for the samples, but we could also have different patterns. And we have intros, endings, different fills. So let's say we have our acoustic agent here and I wanted to change the sound. So I could go to my instrument here and let's say I want to select a kick and I wanted more room mic in the kick. Or I want to take the snare and tune the snare. Or I want to take that hi-hat and actually adjust how open or closed that hi-hat is. So very, very easy, you want to adjust your hand clap. So whatever you click on, you have like, you know, different controls. So if I wanted to control the attack of the snare, so say I want to take the snare here and really just kind of tweak that. Now you can also add different effects. So you say, okay, I want to go to my snare here and let's say I just want to add uh, even a delay, like in where it'll actually just kind of regenerate MIDI notes. Or if you wanted to do like a flam. Now what's really interesting is you have these different patterns, but you have kind of eight main patterns. And what's great about this is you could just adjust vertically to increase the volume. So you have the drummer play the same thing, but softer. Many drummers have told me this is impossible. You know, so play the same energy, but softer. You could also move to the horizontally and add different levels of complexity. And you can control this from MIDI. Just right click, learn MIDI CC. So you go, okay, I like that. And let me do a half the halftime feel. Or I wanted to do a natural variation. I like roughly that area. And I can say every time there's at the beginning of every bar, do a subtle variation, two levels of complexity, up or down. Or every time, every four bars, do a random drum fill. So this way you can just kind of jam along with it. And if I really like this pattern, I could just drag and drop right into my timeline. Wasn't that hard. And what's even cooler is I can now go to my mixer, and for each element here, each of my drum sounds, I have four bands of parametric EQ, a compressor, my tape saturation, as well as an envelope shaper. So for, I can have my full mixer directly right here, or if I go to my aux sends, guess what? I have 29 different plugins within the plugin itself. Question? Yep, that's all, that can be automated, so no problem. And you can do it with an external MIDI controller. So if you just have a knob on your MIDI controller, it's that easy. Great. Can you show us the Sure. So now what's, what's kind of cool about this is we have like, you know, like kicks and snares. And if I actually go to my part right here, I could say go, I can see where my drum map, where I could see them all labeled. I could say create drum map from instrument. So now once I do that, I double click and I can see, oh, that's my snare, that's my kick, this is my hi-hat, all the names have automatically carried over. Why do we do that? Because it's the right thing to do. Because, you know, who wants to guess what MIDI note that is? No one wants to do that, right? We all have better things to do. So, you know, not only do we have, like, the ability of dragging and dropping and being able to do all that, you know, but we have 16 stereo output, so when I go come here, into my mixer, my instrument. Um, I could just, let's say I go to my mixer here on the agent. I could say, oh, you know, I, I want the kick to go out of output one, my snare output three. So you have 16 stereo outs so that you could just simply, you know, route it through third party plugins if you need to. So, but all that, so what do you want killer bass? You want killer drums? Now we also give a lot of content and we call these construction kits. Um, 
And with 7.5, we added a lot of construction kits where, you know, for like EDM and dance music. And now with Cubase Pro 8, we added a lot of pop rock drum kits. So like all the bass lines that you were hearing, those are all different construction kits where you could actually say, you know, someone's like, oh, I need kind of a, a pop, you know, Motown-y thing. Can you do that and give it to me in 45 minutes? Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, yes, I can, you know. And so you have these different kind of song elements that you can mix and match and uh, with full processing. So the guitar is dry, the guitar is through effects, and you just kind of can load them up and kind of, you know, use it as a basis for your song, all completely royalty free as well. So kind of all those different things that you could do. And again, so the groove agent, so whether you want to do EDM or you want to do kind of pop rock acoustic stuff, it's all included. Question? Yeah, are you able to drag and drop those to separate MIDI tracks? Or? Like the different sounds? Yeah. Okay, in Cubase, all you have to do is I could say dissolve part, and I could say let's separate pitches. And now once it does that, we could just come right over here. And my Mac's gonna misbehave, maybe. Oh, no. Nope. And then I can see my kick, snare, hi hat, everything automatically broken up. Yes, you can. Inside of Cubase is the only program that you could actually uh, do that with. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll show it to you. Uh, let me just jump to, let's say if I have. Uh, let me just create a quick. Like a bass, like a bass. If you have, if you choose, if you choose electric bass or a standard bass, sometimes you want a, a shorter a sustain or a longer sustain and different volume for, for different notes. Mm -hmm. So let's say, you know, you, you could. One of the cool things that you do in Cubase with VST 3.5 instruments. If I have, let's say, you know, notes here. You know, we have our controller editors here. So if I wanted to draw in, like. Let's say you know volume, you know main volume message or you know pitch bend. So let's say I just drew in volume here. But with VST three point five instruments, you have something unique in that because when I do this, what you see is that the volume is for every single note on that MIDI channel, right? And it's kind of an oversight, but hey, you know MIDI was done in nineteen eighty two, so you know I mean like. You know, On Golden Pond was the big film when MIDI came out, you know, so it's a little old. Uh, you know, some people in this room may not have been born then and, you know, have, you know, have families and stuff. So, but now within Cubase, you could just double click on the note itself. And if you wanted to draw in volumes that are independent for that note or just come here and say, okay, and we could go to, and we call this note expression. So I could say this note I wanted to do tuning on. So this way you could go, okay, I just want to tune that note independently, or I want it to have different panning on different notes. So if you have like a VST 3.5 instrument, like, you know, Halion Sonic SE, which comes with it, or Halion, Halion Sonic, you know, um, you know all, the, all the Steinberg instruments are basically VST 3.5. That way you could have that level, that kind of all the MIDI controllers at a note level because, you know, generally my MIDI information and my compositions are based on notes and not the MIDI channel, you know. So now you could have that level of control at the MIDI level. Does it work with third parties or no? Uh, it, there aren't a lot of third party plugins that do it, uh, but it's, you know, it's not closed to them. So it's a limitation of the companies not doing it, but it's, it's available to use. Sure, and you could just drag and drop any drum. So if I have this drum pattern, and let's say I've edited it, and I could just go to my patterns here, and I said, oh, I really like that, and you could just drag and drop any pattern. Or you could actually, you know, if you have like an acoustic agent kit here, or like a, an EDM kit, so there's kind of different agents, but you could actually just take any audio file here. You know, even if you say, okay, I just want to take you know, that audio file, and I could just grab it to an instrument pad and just replace, just drag and drop and have any audio and trigger just that easily. So if someone's like, you know, recorded a drum kit, you're like, oh, that's cool, yeah. And I'm just going to sample you so fast, you don't even know what's going on, you know. Pretty cool? So again, all included. Mm -hmm.